Hello and welcome back to another one of our videos where we show off how wonderful our vacuum chambers are. All right, so today we have a um, vacuum chamber and a vacuum pump um, assembly. And let's talk about this wonderful vacuum chamber and all the customizations that are on this chamber. So first of all, what we have is a digital vacuum gauge and this is a convection vacuum gauge and it will show you um, you know the absolute pressure inside this chamber in tor and millitor so right now we're at about 714 713 tor uh, this is because we are at a little bit of higher altitude than um, you know sea level we're in salt lake city utah so our altitude is about 4,000 4,400 feet um, that's about 1200 meters uh, above sea level so that's the first customization we have is this digital vacuum gauge. Then in on top wall, the first thing that is, you know, obvious to see are these wires. And these wires uh, are what we call a wire vacuum feed through. And there's about 12 wires, I believe in here, 12 wires. And these wires, you can connect electrical signals on these wires and run them from the outside of the chamber towards into the inside of the chamber without compromising the vacuum. So that's what you can have. And then in addition to this wire feed through, we have a KF40 quick flange or NW40 uh, blank off and also an, uh, an NW25 blank off, vacuum blank off. On this wall, what we have is another NW25 blank off, a venting valve, and this valve, you essentially open it or close it if you want to vent the chamber. Um, and then this guy is the vacuum valve, and that's a NW25 vacuum valve that is connected into the chamber. Um, and is, as you can see, we have a fairly long vacuum hose that goes into this pump. And this is a rotary vane, about 14.1 CFM, vacuum pump um, and it's going to pull about uh, five micron of um, ultimate uh, pressure uh, and this chamber can go to about five to ten micron with this pump given enough time of course on this wall we have another nw40 blank off and we have two uh, swage lock type uh, liquid or gas feed throughs where you run you can connect your liquid line here and then run it into the chamber and here as well. And I'll, I'll open the door. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, of course, you can kind of see that we've placed um, these rubber pieces and those are just O-ring cord stock. And what we've done is, the reason we've done it is because we wanted to create an airtight seal um, as we were testing this vacuum chamber. So it, this is how it looks like. You have these two, um, you know, liquid feed throughs that go into the chamber. And here are these pieces that we took off. So once we're done, uh, we were already done testing this chamber. So before we ship them, we're gonna put these back on here. And then our client can go ahead and um, connect any liquid or gas and run it into the chamber from the outside towards the inside without compromising the vacuum. And finally, the last customization on this chamber that we have is a so-called a blank vacuum panel plate and this panel plate is just a acrylic plate it's about 12 by 12 inches wide of course and and uh deep and you can see that there is a window of about eight inches by eight inches and so in the future this is this is very popular uh customization uh reason being that in the future uh, our client will be able to remove this vacuum panel plate and then install any of the wire feed throughs or blank offs or let's say these if they need more liquid feed throughs they can install it onto this plate without having to drill into this chamber and this plate is also interchangeable it is reinforced with a metallic um, uh, aluminum plate that's anchored into the acrylic so this, this is a very, very popular option. In the future, 
when you are not sure what you will be using, what feed throughs you will need. Maybe you will need, uh, you know, USB feed throughs. Maybe you will need Ethernet feed throughs or thermocouples or DB, you know, nine, uh, DB twenty five, you know, D sub connectors. Um, you name it. There is sufficient place that you can customize this plate and then install it, or you can just remove this plate and we can customize this plate and install those feed throughs for you. And all you've got to do is just remove these bolts. There's already an O-ring here um, that creates a, uh, you know, airtight seal. So then of course um, we have hinges and there's four hinges on this door. And uh, before I forget the size of this vacuum chamber is about 18 inches, uh, one eight uh, cube. So 18 inches wide, from here to here, 18 inches deep from here to front to back, and then 18 inches high from top to bottom. Um, and of course, before I let you guys go, we are going to close this door and uh, let's pull a vacuum. Let's see how this will go. So here's the switch right here. And the vacuum pump is on, vacuum valve is on, venting valve is on, and as you can see, we are already pulling vacuum. It's about 500, 400 tor. Let me focus this back here. Yeah, so this is what it is. Um, the vacuum rating on this chamber, uh, this chamber can go, like, like I said earlier, to about 10, 5 to 10 micron with this vacuum pump. Like I said, given enough time, uh, how much time? You'll probably get to five, five to 10 micron within the next 24 to 48 hours on this vacuum pump. Um, I mean, you'll probably get to about one micron within the first minute or so. Probably not minute. Yeah, it, it, it'll about be a minute, minute or two. You can get to about a micron, one, one tour. So we're about 172, 160 tour. Um, so there you go, guys. We'll, we'll keep going until we get to about one tour and then um, we will let you guys go. And when I said micron, I meant tour. So it'll take about like maybe two or three minutes to get there. And I, I'm sorry about that. I, I, I always get my units confused. So there you guys have it. A uh, vacuum chamber uh, built by Sanatron. And if you guys have any questions, comments or if you are looking for a vacuum chamber that you would like to use in your facility uh, feel free to give us a call feel free to email us or um, you know we'll see you guys on our website and let me show you so we are as you can see nine tour already so this this will pull pull fairly fast and it'll get to a lot of tour very, very quickly. So we're at about four. Two and a half and then let me show you something that's really cool about this vacuum gauge uh, as soon as this goes below let's say one tour what's going to happen is that this light on the bottom is going to switch to millitor units and then it's going to show again three significant figures in um, millitor instead of tour. Right now it's showing you, of course it moves this decimal point as we were going, you know, from 700 tour to 10 tour, then it moved the decimal point over. But as soon as it gets below one tour, it's gonna start showing. This this red light here is gonna switch to this mTOR, millitor light. And this, this light is actually green. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Let's, let me show you. So we're 1.0103, 102, 101. Now watch this. Boom, green, and it switched to Militor. So now it shows the units in Militor. And it's gonna show Militor, and then as it gets below 100, uh, this is gonna turn into zero, 
and it's only going to show these two units here. So this is a really really cool vacuum gauge uh, made by Instratec and it's called a Stinger or Stinger or whatever I think it's a Stinger. In any case, um, there you guys have it. And then uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, vent this vacuum chamber. So we're going to turn off the vacuum pump and we're going to close it and then we are going to vent. That is it, now we're back to ambient. And then you can come back and open the door and do whatever you need to do. So there you guys have it. Well, thank you very much for watching and uh, please like, uh, comment and subscribe and um, let us know if you guys have any questions. Thank you very much and have a good day, bye bye.